Jono, you've been in um, you've been in London. You're now in Scotland. Can you get a sense of uh, how excited or not are the Scots about the coronation that's going to take place on Saturday? Well, you head up north, and I tell you where we are, it is certainly uh, a unionist town. There is no great regalia here at the moment around uh, a bit west of the Lakes District. Uh, people, the older residents are excited, the younger ones, not so. It's a difficult point for the monarchy at the moment by comparison to the Diamond Jubilee where we're told the street was kitted out. It certainly doesn't feel that way at the moment. So you think the, uh, the monarchy's got a bit of work to do at the moment uh, when it comes to popularity. People aren't particularly enamoured with King Charles. Maybe he will grow on them. I found it pretty interesting, Jono, that I was thinking about the, the issue of security and, and what has to happen this week in London, particularly when you get to the, the, the military parade and, and the carriages on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, we seem to have moved yeah. beyond that really frightening period where we thought every event was going to potentially uh, attract a terrorist attack. Have you got any sense of how tough security is going to be, how tight it will be? Yeah, well, let's not jinx ourselves. Um, it is extraordinarily tight when it comes to the police operation at the moment. Operation Golden Orb, as it's called. We're told there will be snipers on the roof. You've got the police having their... You should say we've got the monarchy having their own personal guard, uh, being the, the yeomans of the guard and also the household cavalry, but there will be thousands of defence personnel also uh, around the, the monarch. Uh, police absolutely everywhere. Uh, you've also got every 15 to 20 metres along the processional routes at the moment... You've got um, people who've been hired in the high-vis jackets. They're also marking and staking out the area. You'll notice in the day leading up, they'll take down you know, all of the traffic lights. They'll go through and they'll re recheck all the drains uh, and all the tunnels underneath uh, Whitehall as well. So it's an extraordinary operation. You'll also see they will barricade off the streets to make sure that there can be no vehicles brought in or out uh, to endanger the population. So when you start to get an idea up close in the days leading up, I saw it for the, for the Queen's funeral, uh, I have to say it's fearsome when you look at what the, what the police do and how they, they close that area off and safeguard everyone. So uh, it is a nervous time and you can only imagine what the security personnel are doing behind the scenes to ensure that everyone is safe. They wouldn't want an incident, not with the world's attention on this. That would bring shame uh, on the nation and uh, on the monarchy itself. So they're certainly working as hard as they can, Stephen. Good on them for that. Good on you, Jono. I'm very jealous of, uh, of your role there. Jonathan Lee there, and you'll see his coverage right through the rest of the week.